Hello, WCD Board of Managers. <laughs> it's me, Matt. Uh, Matt Downing, for those of you who do not know me. I'm out here today on Goose Lake in Scandia, in Washington County, uh, working on water quality monitoring that we do in partnership with the Canadian Marine Sanctuary Watershed District. Uh, I'm out here today with our, our lead water uh, monitoring person for lakes, Rebecca Oldenburg Gable, and we are doing a sampling event survey of Goose Lake, which includes a number of parameters that we collect. Uh, the thing that I do the most is working on the uh, temperature and dissolved oxygen profile. So we have a, a meter here that I'm going to lower into the water at, at one meter increments and collect the data on our digital data collection device. Uh, and while I do that, Rebecca is going to talk to you about why we do this. So that meter gets lowered down and what we're looking to do is collect both the temperature and dissolved oxygen, like Matt said, at one meter increments. This is important to tell um, what's going on in the lake. If a lake is stratified, which means that there is a separation between the upper warm water of a lake and cool water at the bottom, or if a lake is mixed. During the fall season, typically those big wind gusts come through and start to push the warm water from the surface of a lake down into the cool water and start to mix it. Eventually we have a vent that we call fall turnover. This means that the lake has generally completely or mostly mixed and the temperature and dissolved oxygen is now uniform from the surface of the lake down to the bottom of the lake and has completely turned over. Hi, I'm Rebecca oldenburg Evo, and this is the continuation of water sampling on Goose Lake in Carnelian Marine Sanctuary Watershed District. I've got a Van Doren sampler and I'm going to use it to collect water from the hypolimnion on the lake or the bottom water of the lake. The equipment is marked off in one foot increments and I'm lowering it down to just above the bottom of the lake. trapped and separated on the bottom of the lake through thermal stratification can become available as the lake mixes through fall turnover. So it's important to keep track of the phosphorus as this can drive lake productivity. <laughs> 